Hey guys, 18 Dapper here. Just doing a little bit of a fans view for five year plan TV for the upcoming fifth round of the FA Cup, Doncaster Rovers versus Crystal Palace. As always, being a Rovers fan, it is a roller coaster ride. There's never an easy season, there's never a season goes by where it's just mid table mediocrity. And that's what I love about supporting Doncaster Rovers. We're either fighting against relegation or we're fighting for a championship or playoff spot, a bit like we are this year, fighting for the playoff spot. Coming up to the end of every single season, as far as I can remember, there's not been many where a season's petered out and I wouldn't have it any other way. But hopefully this season into the playoffs and go up back to the championship where I truly believe that we belong. At the beginning of the season, I had us down as mid-table. Uh, Grant McCann coming in, a new manager, a new philosophy, a new style of play. I didn't think it would click as well as it has done. So, a very positive season. I think over overachieving for my expectations. I know a lot of Rovers fans at the start of the season were expecting playoffs, but I, for one, wasn't so very happy hopefully we stay in the playoffs coming up towards the end of the season I think there's maybe 14 or 15 games left so still a lot of work to do but I think with the squad that we've got and the uh, the togetherness in the squad at the minute there's no reason why we shouldn't secure a playoff spot John Marquis up front goes without without saying uh, 21 league goals or 21 goals this season so he's one of our star men, um, bags all of the goals. Looking a bit deeper uh, in the midfield, I'd say Herbie Kane, very young, uh, 19, 20 years old, on loan from Liverpool and in the midfield he pulls the strings, he makes us tick like, like nobody else. If he's on his game, then the midfield looks decent. Back four, Tom Anderson, he's coming into his own at the minute. He's not great with the ball at his feet, but he's a solid defender, anything in the air put money on him winning it um, so yeah key players for me the two standouts Marquis and Kane can't go without mentioning Cops as well absolute legend for the club 600 over 600 appearances and 38 39 years old and he's still going strong our weakest area when I look at the Palace squad would be our full backs um, Lewis and Anderson Good players within their own right. Decent League One players. I think they can make it in the Championship. Anderson uh, and Downing in the middle of the of the back four as well. I think good defenders. Anything in the air they're going to deal with. But in and around the feet, yeah, could be causing us problems on Sunday. I'm going to go with a couple of score predictions for this one. Uh, I'm going to go a score prediction with my head and a score prediction with my heart. So for heart. If the Palace team approach the game like I've seen some of the supporters approaching it, thinking that it's going to be a walkover and an easy win, it's a it's a buy through to quarterfinals. There may be a little bit of overconfidence and complacency. And if we're on our game and Palace aren't, I'm going with a 2-1 to Doncaster. But a prediction with my head, Palace have got a very, very good squad. I think Hodgson is a decent manager, um, didn't really do it for England, but I think as a domestic manager, he's got the ability um, to get the best out of the players. And if Palace are on the game, I can't see anything but a defeat for Donny, unfortunately. So, Hart, 2-1 Donny, Head, 3-1 Palace. I'll be doing my own match preview on, on my channel, 18 Dapper, and I'll also be doing the match day vlog on Sunday. Looking forward to it. It's going to be a great game. It's going to be a great atmosphere. Keep my Oak Stadium full, which is nice to see. Um, and also watch out for the display that we are doing in our Black Bank, which is the South Stand, where all our main singers are. Um, should be good. So I'm looking forward to an entertaining game and a good atmosphere.